Of course, Piper famously uh, or infamously passed away far too young. Uh, he died in his sleep, and uh, he had predicted on HBO years before that he knew he wouldn't make 65. What are your last memories of Roddy? Because I know in real life you guys were thick as thieves, and this had to be a big deal for one of your friends to uh, to leave this early. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, it's a little tough doing it on video here. Um, we've talked about it all on the podcast. Roddy was, was one of my best friends in the business. And uh, the last time I'd seen Roddy in person was about a year before he passed. We were here in Houston, and, and I brought my daughter out. We had dinner together. We spent we spent two days together here in Houston, um, reconnecting and talking about the future and making plans for the future. I did uh, I did his podcast. He put my daughter on, who was wrestling at the time, uh, amateur. She fell in love with Roddy so much she named her dog Rowdy. Piper. Special friend, special man. Uh, he helped me out through through some of the worst periods of my life, from getting fired twice. Um, when my dad died, Roddy Piper, I'll never forget, called the hospital. Um, well, well, not before my dad died. When my dad was in the in the hospital, Roddy Piper called the hospital to find me, just tell me he loved me, make sure I was okay. Um. We were we were working together. We were talking about doing some different things with uh, Rocket Fizz. We we were planning on doing a two man show, kind of like what you and I do now. And we had a tour set up in Texas, and then we were going to go to the UK to do these two man shows. And we had been going back and forth. And the night that Roddy passed. I was in Rockport, Texas and my phone rang and I went to pick it up and there was no one there. I got a alert. I don't know, 20 minutes later. And it says missed call voicemail from Roddy Piper. I tried to get the message that night. Didn't, I didn't think anything of it. It was late the next day. Uh, I forgot about it. And a friend of mine called me and says, Hey, did you hear? I'm like, hear what? He says, Roddy. Well, I'm thinking, because Roddy had just made some outrageous statement on TMZ like a week or two weeks before. And I just talked to him, you know, like three days before that. And I'm like, oh, God, what do you do now? And he was like, he's gone. And my phone starts, you know, how it happens. Bad news travels fast, and I start getting these messages. And I don't believe it. And so I call. It goes to voicemail. And I go back to that message. I listen to the message. And he tells me he had been up in Canada working on his book. And he says, hey, man, I don't feel, I, I'm not feeling really well which you never heard from Roddy Piper. He's always like, ah, I'll be fine. He said, because I'm not feeling well. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. I just wanted to call and tell you I love you. That was one of the last calls he made. And um, he was gone. And I, I miss him. God, I miss him. Very, 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 very special man. Um, love him to death. His his kids were his life. <laughs> his family was his life. Uh, he adored his wife, Kitty. He was so proud. Of, I mean, God, his girls and, and Colt and just... Um, it's a tough one. And uh, I love Roddy Piper. I miss Roddy Piper. 
and he will go down as when you talk about icons in in the wrestling business roddy piper's right there